Well hello everybody and um, I thought I'd do a little bit different video today. Um, I like to keep this YouTube channel varied and, and mixed up um, and I thought I'd show you what um, I've been restoring over many months. Well actually this, this runs into a, a number of years um, and um, we're looking at a 1954 uh, VT2 Pi television which I believe um, I'm, I'm no expert on old televisions I believe this dates from around 1954 and um, there again I believe it was one of the first uh, television sets that had or was the first television to have the uh, 13 band tuner um, it was obviously built in, in anticipation of the ITV channel coming out which came out in this country in the UK in, in 1966 we had independent television so obviously um, up until that point in time we'd only had one channel which was the BBC and um, obviously therefore the early sets were built with solely the one channel and um, but this had the 13 band tuner on the on the side and um, so quite an interesting set um, what appeals to me about it um, is um, we sort of uh, it's very dark in here I must apologize you know so I don't know how well this will come out um, uh, it's in a most attractive Bakelite cabinet and um, a lot of tele a lot of television collectors out there you know they they love the the bush range like the TV um, what is it the the, the bush TV 22 and the, the 62 and all those Bakelite uh, bush sets but I think this Pi um, is a very attractive um, as I say uh, Bakelite cabinet and that's what appealed to me although um, I don't go buying many televisions I, I've, I've been restoring old well, radios for, for many many years and um, it was only about seven or eight years ago um, I first tried to restore a television and I'm still not very pro proficient at it so uh, there's a lot of people out there far far more skilled than, than better than me and um, it's a hobby for me and I kind of thought I did my apprenticeship re restoring the old valve radios and so graduated on to try a television or two and um, I was given this set um, this set is a local set to the, the area where I live and um, it comes from one of the villages and um, so I know it's history and it, it um, sadly it, it stood in, a, in a, a, a damp shed for 40 years so the chassis was very very rusty and um, in fact the knob the knob on this side I don't know if we can see that the knob the knob uh, that side um, which is the tuning the 13 uh, it's got a fine tuner and then you tune round for the channels that was totally seized on and um, still wants a bit of um, looking at it's by no means finished uh, but I've got it to a point that it's getting better and um, so I'll, I'll stop talking about it and we'll switch it on and see what happens well there we go we're, we're up and running and have a picture on it uh, for those um, older members um, who might be looking at this um, this is test card C um, long before there was daytime television although there was always a few schools programs on um, this is what was on in the daytime um, obviously for the television shops uh, to show something and for the repair industry uh, to have something to um, uh, tuner set into basically um, so here this is test card C uh, with some proper old test card music as you can see um, the picture still isn't perfect on the set by a long way um, I think I've still got one or two issues to sort out but um, it's 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 certainly getting better and um, it's getting to the point you know when I, you know I, I might be happy with it um, you can hear it's I, I think one problem I've got with it it's got um, quite low um, EHT extra high tension um, the uh, line output transformer on this set is 
um, covered in pitch and apparently they do absorb a lot of damp and I, as I said to you this sat in a damp shed uh, well it was, a, it was a coal shed I think for 40 years so I think that has absorbed a lot of damp and um, so I don't think I'm quite getting enough uh, EHT um, and um, so the focus isn't brilliant but the say I'm, I'm at the moment I'm quite happy with it and um, I should keep progressing onwards with it and um, we might when we next take the chassis out um, I'll do a little video uh, to show you progress and, and remove the chassis and, and show you around the set and, and what I've done as I say it's um, it's virtually had every capacitor replaced uh, I think there's only a couple of valves that have got broke inside that have been replaced and um, so really it's amazing um, there we go um, a set that what was built in 1954 that gives you any sort of picture still really and um, I'm delighted um, that I've got this far with it as so I'm I'm a mere amateur at, um, certainly at television repair and um, as I think it's a very attractive set um, as I say so there we are that's the Pi VT2 that I believe and unless you know differently and <laughs> But um, I, I'm sure that's what this model is. Um, they did a V2, which didn't have the uh, 13 band tuner on the side there. I must say, it's a, it's a super um, bit of Bakelite on the cabinet, and I'm sure I haven't really cleaned it up too well yet, uh, but I'm sure it will clean up absolutely brilliantly. So there we go. Um, that's something that I've been doing. Uh, in the uh, last few weeks so I hope somebody might find this of interest or have any information on this particular set um, as I say um